Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today's question is, a family has five children and three questions. Question A finds the probability that exactly two are male. So imagine that uh, this empty box stands for uh, whether this can be a boy or a girl. So this would be the first child. This is going to be the second child in a family. This is going to be the third child in the family, fourth and fifth. So, once again, each box represents uh, one probable uh, event. So, how many combinations we may have here? So, the first child can be born as a boy or a girl, so two combinations here. Second child also can be born with a boy or a girl, so two combinations here, and this is true for all the following uh, events. So we have to use a product rule in order to find number of combinations. So two multiplied by two would be four, multiplied by two would be eight, multiplied by two would be sixteen and multiplied by 2 would be 32 unique combinations of uh, children we may have in a family with 5 children. Uh, 32 unique combinations of sexes. So um, we have to find the probability that exactly 2 would be male. That means uh, that uh, the other 3 children would be females. So, the first variant would be that all children would be girls. So, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, another variant would be that all five children would be boys. So, boy, 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 and boy. So, we have... Um, to such unique combinations that would uh, repeat only once. Then we may have a situation when uh, we have, uh, for example, four children of one sex and one child of the different sex. For example, four girls and one boy. How many combinations we may have? We may have uh, four girls. Um, to be the first uh, four children and the last can be a boy. Another combination when uh, can be when the first three children would be girl, then boy and girl again. Another combination girl, girl, boy, girl, girl. Yet another combination girl, boy, girl, girl, girl. And the last combination would be a boy, a girl, a girl, a girl, and a girl. So, uh, this combination of five girls, here we have combinations of the four girls and one boy, and here we have five, uh, five boys combination, and, uh, of course, we also would have the same probability for the family to have um, four boys and one girl. So, boy, 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 and the girl. Second variant, boy, 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 a girl, and a boy. Then, boy, boy. A girl, boy, 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 girl, boy, boy, and boy. And the first child is a girl, and then four children, boys. And as you see, here we have one out of 32 probability, one out of uh, 32 here and here we have how many uh, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. So five out of thirty-two would be probability of uh, four girls in one boy. Uh, also, we would have five out of thirty-two to have a probability of four boys and one girl. We also have to take into account uh, probability of having um, instead of four girls and one boy, uh, three girls and two boys. So let's find probability of such an event. So we may have uh, this time uh, three girls and two boys. And the probability would be as follows. The first uh, two children can be girls. So girl, girl, then three boys, then girl, boy, girl, boy, boy, then girl, boy, boy, girl, and boy, and then girl, boy, 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 and girl. So now I am shifting this girl to the second position. So boy, girl, girl, boy and boy, boy, girl, boy, girl and boy, and another variant would be a boy, a girl, a boy, a boy and a girl. So now I'm shifting this uh, girl position to the third, so another combination would be a boy, a boy, a girl, a girl, and a boy, a boy, a boy, a girl, a boy, and a girl. And I am shift uh, this girl position to the fourth position, so the other combination can be a boy, a boy, and a boy, and a girl. And a girl. So now we have all the possible combinations of having two girls and two boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, ten out of thirty-two, we would have three girls and two boys. So three girls and two boys. And we also can say that probability going to be the same of having three boys and two girls. Also, we are going to get 10 out of 32. So, one more time, probability of having three girls and two boys would be exactly the same as having three boys and two girls. So, uh, now, uh, we left only one combination of having two girls and two boys. Now let's do our final calculations. Uh, so uh, we have combination of three girls and two boys, 10 out of 32, plus combination of three boys and two girls, 10 out of 32. This is going to be 20 out of 32. Then we may have a situation where we can get four girls and one boy. This is five out of 32. So 20 out of 32 plus five out of 32 going to be 25 out of 32. The same probability we have to have four boys and one girl, five out of 32. So this is going to be 30 out of 32 plus one combination to have uh, five children to be all uh, girls and five children all to be boys, also one out of 32. So now we have um, 32 out of 32. So we uh, have list all the possible combinations. And uh, the question was, find the probability that exactly two are male. Let's return to our calculations and as you see the probability that uh, family would have three girls and two boys would be 10 
out of 32. And this is going to be an answer for our first question. Let's now read the second question. What is the probability that exactly two are female if the first child born as male? Basically, uh, this uh, question asks us uh, what is the probability that in a family of four children, two would be female. Because if we are told that first child is already male, so we have to exclude this um, probability from our calculations. So now we left with only four variants here. So uh, the first child we already know the gender that is male. So we do not count it in our calculations. Or if you wish, you can put one instead of two here. And this wouldn't affect our calculations. So uh, what uh, our calculations would be this time. So we have second child, third, and fourth, and fifth child. Uh, the first child gender is already known. So as I said, we can put one here. It is a male. But as for the second child, two variants here. Third child also has two variants, two variants, and two variants here. So as you see, the number of uh, combinations would equal to 16. So as you see, uh, when we know the, uh, the gender of the first child, this would drastically reduce number of uh, variants of the um, children, uh, combinations of the sexes in this family. So now a uh, number of combinations would be 16. So uh, we have to refer to the situation uh, the same as uh, if the question was what is the probability that in a family of four children two exactly would be girls. So let's uh, solve this problem also and now our calculations would be as follows the first variant would be that all four children can be girls or all four children can be boys so boy 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 and boy and one more time this is going to be second third fourth and fifth child just like in this example, the first child sex we just ignore. So uh, another combination, so this is all four children girls, all four children boys. Uh, another variant can be that uh, three children can be girls and one can be a boy. So uh, a girl, a girl, a girl and a boy. Another variant would be a girl, a girl, a boy, and a girl, a girl, a boy, a girl, a girl, and a boy, a girl, a girl, and a girl. So as you see, four variants here. We also can say that four out of 16. And this combination represents one out of 16. This combination also represents 1 out of 16. And we have also variant when we may have uh, 3 boys and 1 girl. Variants would be as follows. A boy, a boy, a boy and a girl. A boy, a boy, a girl and a boy. A boy and a girl, a boy and a boy, and a girl, a boy, a boy, and a boy. So, once again, we have 4 out of 16. So, we have 1 out of 16 plus 4 out of 16 would be uh, 5 out of 16 plus 5 out of 16 more. We have 10 out of 16, and we know that uh, the last variant would be 2 girls and two boys and we would have 
six out of sixteen combinations of having two girls and two boys. So we can uh, give this answer right away. Six out of sixteen or three out of eight would be uh, an answer. And if you wish, I can list all these variants too. So uh, variants uh, would be as follows. Uh, we may have a girl, a girl, a boy, and a boy. We also may have a girl, a boy, a girl, and a boy. A girl, a boy, a boy, and a, a boy, uh, a girl, a girl, and a boy, a boy, and a girl, a boy, and a girl, and a boy, a girl, uh, sorry, a boy, and a girl, and a girl. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be uh, 6 out of 16 variants of having uh, 2 boys and 2 girls. So this also equal to 3 out of 8. And the last question, let's return to our problem here. So also I want to say that we can reduce this number also to 5 uh, over 16 and the last uh, question was as you remember find the probability that the last child born is male so if we know the sex of the first four children what is the probability would be that the last uh, child would be a male there is only two variants here whether it can be a girl or a boy so the probability that this is going to be a boy would be one half. And this is going to be an answer for the last question. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video. Goodbye.